Hello, my name is Titus Neupert and I'm a theoretical physicist working at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. On November 9, 1989, I was a four-year-old living in Eastern Germany in the city of Dresden. My parents were listening to the radio emphatically all night and drove off to Berlin the next day, but they were hesitant to take me along. Instead, they brought me back some much-wanted winter gloves and, mind the cliché, bananas. I could definitely feel the euphoria in the air these days. My alternative bet for a career was architecture. I wanted to do something creative. However, very soon I realized that theoretical physics requires just as much creativity and a sense of beauty. Oftentimes, you can feel that you have solved the problem because the equation just looks right and everything falls into place. Striving for beauty by reduction can also be deceiving, though. Sometimes, we also have to embrace the beauty of complexity. In any case, I found a very fulfilling and creative work, and that is a wish come true. The progress in improving the capabilities of our computers and smartphones is hitting a hard wall. The celebrated Moore's law is a thing of the past. My research contributes to finding new physical foundations for the future of computing. We work on discovering new quantum materials that can either be used to develop new low-power electronics for the post-silicon age or as building blocks for future quantum computers. In particular, we strive to find materials that display qualitatively new physical phenomena, such as dissipationless transport. And at the same time, we study how current and future quantum computing devices can be used to facilitate genuinely quantum mechanical calculations in physics, chemistry, material science, and pharmaceutical research. Specifically, I study materials with so-called topological properties. These are effects that are deeply linked to insights from the mathematical field of topology and yet have very concrete, measurable consequences. For instance, we found that a material as simple as elementary bismuth has natural conducting quantum channels on the hinges of the crystal. And these channels are exactly those that could, in principle, transport current free of dissipation. So a current passing through them would produce minimal heat. Moreover, these channels do not have to be manufactured in a complicated way, but are automatically attached to newly created hinges when I break the crystal apart. And this is the magic of topology. Our society is digital. Societal as well as technological progress fundamentally depends on our ability to process large amounts of data and to perform ever more complex simulations and calculations. Whether we want to predict climate change, prevent the spreading of diseases, or develop new drugs, powerful new computing capabilities are needed. My research community works on the very basis of the next and next to next paradigm shifts in computing. There is no shortage of open questions and they range from practical to fundamental. A practical one is, which hardware realization of a quantum bit is the best to build a quantum computer? What is the silicon of quantum computing, so to say? Currently, many competing ideas are tested. A fundamental question regards topological order. This is a quantum phenomenon that magically protects quantum information against accidental erasure. Theoretically, we know that topological order is possible at exact zero temperature, but we do not know whether it is possible at any finite temperature. So what keeps me awake at night besides these questions are most often the small mathematical riddles that I need to solve to make progress with my research. And my mom? Well, she is happy that I learned how to use my ideas to help this bigger course, and 
that I promote knowledge to a wider public as well as training the next generation of scientists. All this is an important part of what it means to be human, she says.